to give you guys a little bit of an idea of how this looks, this is Molly. She's one of our distance training clients. Uh, she comes up about once every month or so from Kentucky. And you can tell right off the bat, she's got a massive anterior tilt. If you look at her belt line here, it is definitely not optimally balanced. So in this case, very stiff and strong through her quads, especially rectus femoris, and on the back side, very strong through her lumbar spinal erectors. So you watch when she actually performs a lunge or a split squat, she's very reliant on those muscles. She can't get that full hip extension. She can't control her pelvis because her obliques and her glutes simply aren't strong enough. I'll let you watch it again here. So not only can she not get full hip extension or into a pelvic neutral, but that quad dominance is seen on this side as well. As her knee glides forward, you know, that's indicative of a strong anterior chain and a weak posterior chain. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of an idea of where our motion uh, is coming from, both when it's correct and when it's incorrect. And I've got quite a few more examples later on here.